As the top scorer in the league, no surprise to see our cameras affixed to him during the warm-up. Can he add to his tally today? We'll find out soon. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from League Two coming up. It's Crew Alexandra and they face Rochdale. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. The players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. This is the lineup for the home team. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back, Lee? Not at all under Bruce Rock. It's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. This is how the visitors will set up today. Pretty well balanced, this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the contest begins. A very good tackle. Bradley. Tavares. It looks promising. And in with a real chance. Surely. It looked as though he almost forced the shot that time. Well, it's okay shooting from there, but you have to test the keeper. Bradley. He's going to be disappointed with that pass. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Bradley. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Take the lead. Keeper didn't quite do enough. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Gillingham. Seven minutes played, 1 0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Well, he's given it away. Untidy in possession. He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, the cross came over and a real need to get rid of the ball here. And breaking at pace with Menace. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Lund. And given away. He failed to get it away properly. Wonderful tackle. Well, the cross needed to be better than that one. 
And it's gone behind for the corner. And now the delivery. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Whatever it takes to keep them out. Tavares. A move of promise on the flank. Crossing possibilities. Well, that's a moment the fans won't soon forget. Lund. Parker. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Still passing it around. And attempting the through ball. A very hot. Still alive. Tremendous ball played through. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. Leco. This looks promising. A delivery. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Plymouth Argyle. 19 minutes played, 1 0. Thanks, Alan. This could be an interesting avenue. Advantage accrues to the attacking side. Very good use of advantage there by the official, letting the play carry on and then only subsequently handing out the yellow card. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what the fans want. They want to see the game going on. They don't want to see it stopped for something like that. You can always go back and book the player later. Blocked that particular cross. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Speculative effort here. Simple save for the keeper. Well, he had to pick the fly to the ball up. That was all. Got behind it. Good save. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a goal for the visitors. 24 minutes played. 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. But following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Over it comes. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. How many chances do you need to clear the ball? The keeper will be really frustrated at his defenders. They had a chance to clear it, they didn't. It comes back in, there's chaos in there. Back of the net. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Read it magnificently and intercepted. And very deftly cut out. McLaughlin. That is how to apply the pressure. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Now let's see about the cross. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Corner kick played in. Well, he failed to get it away properly. What an important piece of defending. McLaughlin. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? 
And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely a yellow card, Derek. Individual quality coming to the fore. The cross is on. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Henderson. Untidy in possession. Teammate in support. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for the visitors. 33 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks, Alan. It is to be a throw-in. And scope for the cross. Lecco. It should be. And it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. McLaughlin. Chance to attack using width. Well, possession seeded. McLaughlin. Read it superbly to take back possession. Others in the vicinity. An abundance of space. Now can he deliver accurately? And will it be the leveller? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And it was turned out, so a throw-in will be next. Well, great read there to intercept. Can they hit on the break? I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for the visitors. 42 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Useful cross towards the near post. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Parker. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. They've lost it. Easy meet. Just not looking confident in possession. An incisive pass. Well, that's the end of that for now. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Lee. Yeah, he's had quite a bit of the ball, but he's not done it in the right areas. His teammates have got to get the ball to his feet. He needs the right ball in the middle of the danger zone, where he comes alive normally. And the contest begins. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins.
Lund. Good ball to switch the play. Bradley. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Space afforded him. Real chance. He's got to score. Well, first-rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. It's still alive. It hasn't come to very much. Well, the pressure is building. Surely they would get back into this. The fans think so. Just listen to them. Now just couldn't quite keep himself onside. The flag has gone up. Well, they have the ball once more. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Must score! And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot, straight at him, no problem for the goalie. It looks promising. Not a good pass. Couldn't keep the ball. Bradley. Very comfortable when in possession. And that was a very fine read. <laughs> Giving the ball away. And the defender takes care of business. Substitution time it is. Henderson. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. That's how to rob them of possession. Lund. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 61 minutes played, 1-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. They've won back possession. The throw in forthcoming. Would the owner of a silver hatchback with the registration GR21 LJJ please come to He has teammates to play it to. McLaughlin. Hopper, and they're trying to get right into his face. McLaughlin. Now you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. In position here to protect the ball.
making progress and threading it forward just couldn't capitalize there counter-attacking very much an option and the alarm bells are ringing still a chance keeper did his job to begin with Blunt. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the home team. 70 minutes played. 2-1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. It's there for him. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. And a substitution in the offing. Well, they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. So 20 minutes to go. By no means on his own here. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for the visitors. 72 minutes played. 3-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Tavares. Hopper. Moving the ball effectively. Can they get in behind them? Can he put it away? And somehow he prevents a goal. Well, it looked a certain goal, Derek. The agility, the reflex is unbelievable. And now the delivery. Well, that's the end of that for now. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Pretty good reading of the game to win possession back. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. Tavares. Anderson. Bradley. And that's an important intervention. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McAnally to tell us more. It's a second goal for Plymouth Argyle. 78 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Well, the pass not finding its target. Bradley. Well, a tremendous vision. Crossing possibilities. It's opening up for them. They couldn't keep it again. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. And we're focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority and attack Lee. Yeah, he's had a lot of space to work in. So much of their play has gone through him as a result. You can clearly see that by the amount of touches he's had in those danger areas. Goal to his name too. He's playing really well. Dangerous looking attack. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Excellent defending. 
The players are using this energy from the crowd. To... An incisive pass. The pressure was on the keeper following the threaded pass. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Going well. Cutting the ball back. And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot straight at him. No problem for the goalie. Hopper. McLaughlin. Excellent ball towards the front first. And the keeper had a role to play. They're still within touching distance. Well, he's kept his team in the game. Simple as that. He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner. So the corner played into the box. He succeeded in getting his fist to it. And you don't want to lose possession there. Is this the moment? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, we could take another look at this. There's nothing much the keeper can do. Close range finish, really good play, and he doesn't miss from there. Well, let's have another view of that goal. So, 2-0 now. Henderson. Extremely sloppy in possession. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Leco. Run it magnificently and intercepted. again in possession Hopper Anderson pass after pass happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents and there goes the final whistle Some questions regarding the match?
thanks, guys. We're going to get started with the questions now. You ready? That's all the time we have for today. Thank you. What a perfect day for football we've got here. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Our competition today is EFL League 2, Tranmere Rovers against Crew Alexandra. Yeah, real buzz around this ground, full house, a lot of interest in it. Hope it doesn't disappoint. He's the one we're focusing on, I think with good reason. Well, he's the danger man, he stands out a mile for the kind of league form. The goals he's scored, can they handle him, can they stop him? Can the Rovers go with this team today? With uh, an emphasis maybe on uh, getting into the game, not getting out of the game before it's 20 minutes or so. They want to start solidly with those two holding midfield players. Yeah, don't lose the match before really you've worked your way into it. I think that's probably the message in their dressing room and uh, it's reflected in that shape that we see. For Crew Alexander today. So we think it's going to be 3 5 2, Alan, don't we? Yes, it looks that way. I mean, this formation went out of fashion for a number of years, particularly in England, but a few managers prefer to bring it back now. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Everything ready for the kickoff. Well, he seemed to see a pass there that none of us could see from where we're commentating from. And now a throw in. That's going to be a throw-in after that tackle. Now he's switched the point of attack here.
Henderson. He could take them on here. Here's a chance. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. A great chance to go in front, but he's missed it. Incredible. Well, he can't believe it. His teammates can't either. Well, he really could be the star of the show today. His ability on the ball is second to none, Martin, and his teammates will be anxious to feed him that ball as much as they can. A real chance to go in front. Oh, they'll open the scoring here. It's a good start. It's a flying start, really. the way he's hit this one it's flew off his boot to beat the keeper different angle on it here so the first goal it's 1-0 Lost the ball. What an important interception that was. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. He's cut it back looking for a teammate. Going for goal! Goal, they've hit back straight away. Great reaction. No time to sulk about conceding. They have scored at the other end. Well, you just wonder whether complacency has set in here. And they thought they'd won this match, but certainly not the case now. We've got a game on our hands. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Out into the wide areas now. He's gone in strongly and got the ball. Set up to play on the break now. Opportunity to take the lead. Brilliant defending of the keeper. Back into play. And this is going to be a throw. Well, there were saves and there were saves. That was top draw that we just saw from that goalkeeper. In quickly. It's going to be another throw now. But the cross could come in here. We can go to Alamakanali now for news of a goal from elsewhere. It's a goal for the visitors. 18 minutes played, 1-0. Well, many thanks, Alamakanali, keeping us up to date as usual. Well, one pass away from being a great move. He needs to be careful, he could lose it here. Throw in here.
got players helping him here, but he might go alone. Striding forward, purposefully. Looking to attack the cross in numbers. Not really away from the threat here. Got to finish here. And that ball belongs to the goalkeeper. Nelson. Cuts it out nicely. This does look promising. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. Goal news now from Carlisle. It's a second goal for Plymouth Argyle. 24 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Saw the direction of the pass. Really in the clear now, in on goal. It's a goal which really defines the way this team is playing. Well, look at them there. They're absolutely delighted. It does take a lot of hard work, but when you get a reward like that, it's well worth it. Well, some might say you'd prefer to score from 25 yards, but I wouldn't go along with that. This is all about instinct. And here is another angle on that goal. And we restart the game 2-1. So easy in possession. Stolen the ball in the attacking third too. And the referee blows his whistle. The flag was up for offside. Good play after a poor first touch. Now, can he take them on? Well, then it goes. It's not a cross that's caused the defence any problems, and certainly not the goalkeeper. That's gone out for a throw-in. Chance to work it from the flanks. Important touch from the defender there. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Henderson. Going forward well. That's an important clearance. Could get the ball into the box now. Got to be. Real promise about that build-up until that challenge. That's an easy interception. The pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. Well, that counter-attack didn't work and they might be counter-attack themselves now. He's got some room out here in the wide position. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper danger to the goal has gone with that clearance throw in to come really gone to blast it goalwards but it's into the crowd yeah that's not a great one Pass threaded through. Two in front now. Well, keep the concentration, and they've won this match, I think. He saw the gap down in the bottom corner. Boy, did he find it well. Well, that is the sign of a clinical finisher. Somebody that knows where the goals are. They don't have to look up. The 
Just a reminder, 3-1 it is now, the scoreline. Well, he's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Goal news involving South End. It's a goal for Gillingham. 38 minutes clean. 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Well, they pressed well to win the ball back. Guiding it through. The pressure has told. And they've caved in, really. Well, we all knew what was coming. Certainly the opposition did, but they could do nothing to stop it happening out there. This contest is over, done and dusted. But the post-mortem will be a long and arduous one. Let's see the replay now. So they restart again, a bit demoralised now, I think, in a game like this. Goal for the hosts, number 13, Paul Mullen. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress, giving it straight away. One or two options now in forward areas for them. to get it away that's a good clearance because it's uh, got the ball well out of harm's way he's looking for the cross very good tackle and find some space here on the flanks that's gone out for a goal kick Carrying the ball forward, striding forward purposefully. They set it up well for the cross. Defence not really stretched by that cross, and they get the ball away. The, the added time will be four minutes. Four minutes of added time. Another turnover in play here with that interception. Now, can he take them on? Wonderful chance! Comes out of the goalkeeper. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. He might have put his teammate in here. Brilliant pass, can he finish it? Good stop by the goalkeeper. And here comes the corner. Looking a problem until the clearance was made. Taking on the defenders. Saved. Not just, he's definitely got his goal touch with him today, hasn't he? The first was a decent one. Here's the second. And still time for more to come. Just a word on the goal scorer, you have to get there to get the chance, and credit him for that. Well, I think the keeper, you know, he's entitled to ask why his defenders didn't react as quickly as the goal scorer. He'd done his bit, he'd made the initial save. Oh, he's got to make a change, this manager, because uh, it's men against boys, he needs to give them a lift, a substitution, I would imagine. Well, sometimes games take a while to ignite. Not this one, not for this team. Well, the referee has brought to an end what has been a very surprising first half. Not quite good enough so far, Alan. He's got to do more. He hasn't put himself in those dangerous positions. 
hasn't really looked like threatening the keeper. Well, we wonder if the second half's going to be like the first, one-sided. Good interception. Chance to work it from the flanks. Goes for goal! And it's a goal! Good finish. Took a quick glance before placing the ball way beyond the goalkeeper's reach, low into the corner of the net. Well, that's a great goal. He showed a lot of composure, not to mention skill to find the bottom corner like that. Just look at the way he's got past these defenders, Alan, and really maximised the situation he created for himself. Well, he did. It was, it was head down and some wonderful balance and footwork to beat a couple of defenders and knock the ball in the back of the net. Wonderful goal. 5-2, the scoreline. It goes out wide again. Sharp in the tackle. It will be a throw now. Now, can he cross it? Couldn't get it past. The first man to close him down. Pressed high here. And they're better than that. That's rather sloppy. He fancies his chances of getting past these players. Terrific tackle. A chance to break away now on the counter. Break still on. They've shown him the inside and he's taken that opportunity. He has cleared it well. Goal news from Carlisle. It's a third goal for Plymouth Argyle. 53 minutes played. 3 0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. With good vision. He can cross it. Controlled and should be cleared. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Language will not be tolerated in the stadium. Thank you. Home team ready to make a change. It's 
Bruin coming up. Coming off now is the winger, who's had a decent outing, hasn't he? Some real contributions. Oh, he has, and he's got the crowd up on their feet many times this, uh, this match. Well played, Tom. Well, this is where the space is at the moment, on the flanks. It's a real opportunity to get it into the middle. Good anticipation by the defender. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Bit of a desperate lunge, that. And he's going to get booked for it, I think. Clearly a booking, out comes the yellow card. Well, he reached straight for his pocket, he didn't really think about it, but I think that's the good call. Brilliant defending, it saved a certain goal. He was almost wheeling away to celebrate there. Good vision. An excellent chance, more than matched by the goalkeeper, who's... Diffuse the situation. Oh, great agility, great reflexes there, and uh, denying the opposition any knockdowns as well. Put the corner in the middle. That's frustrating to the coaches to see a corner there defended at the front post so easily. taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. Whipped in from the wide area. Going to let fly here. Flags up, offside. Oh, I think he was a half a yard on there. He's entitled to feel hard done by. But well, we've had a few looks at it. Linesman only gets one shout, but as you can see from this angle, he was offside. That's a good way to nick the ball back. That's a silly tackle, really. Well, decisive from the referee, no doubt in his mind that that was a yellow card. I don't know, you know, Martin, I, I know another referee might not book him for that offence. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Just the shoot. It's another one for them. They go further in front and they are full value for this position. This contest is over, done and dusted. But the post mortem will be a long and arduous one. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Oh, he's got to make a change, this manager, because uh, it's men against boys. He needs to give them a lift, a substitution, I would imagine. Well, here we go again, and they can't wait to get the ball back from the kickoff and try and get another one. He's cut it out. This referee's got a good perception of when and when not to play the advantage he's chosen to play it here good vision here he's got it away and that's what you have to do Henderson saw it coming cut it out good work A real miscue here. Referee's done very well here. He let the game go on, but he knew there was a yellow card infringement in that move, and now he's gone back and shown the yellow. Yeah, it was a definite booking. The player's got no complaints. 
Still 20 minutes to go. Terrific play on the ball. Oh, lovely clean feet in a confined space. You could watch that over and over. Going forward well. Opportunity to play it into the middle. Change of direction, infield. Impressive, in possession, passing's good, possibly dangerous. And here's the shot. Now oh, the keeper's done well to keep that one out. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. What a good interception. Well, they couldn't keep possession, they've given it away. Good vision. And he's seen the shot. Keeper controls it, never looked like bouncing off him. It made it look easy, but his positioning did that for him. A goal from uh, South End. It's the second goal for Gillingham. 78 minutes played. 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Free kick coming up. That's an important clearance. Spotted that well and intercepted. Pain. Well, they've got the opposition on the back foot with this break. They're coming at them with numbers. Oh, he slipped his man. Very good attack, broken up in the end by good defensive play. It could be a chance, and he scores. And that's the third, the hat-trick. It's a day he'll never forget. But well, they just can't contain him. I mean, some of the stuff we've seen has been mesmeric and well-deserving of this hat-trick. Different angle on it here. Well, here we go again, and they can't wait to get the ball back from the kickoff and try and get another one. And we have nine remaining minutes. Able to make the interception. Well, this could be a chance from the ball played over the top. All about picking the right, the ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. And the referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. Kept his concentration, the goalkeeper, and because of that, kept hold of the ball. Yeah, he seems to fill the goal, this lad. He's quite an imposing keeper. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Keeper's got it, but only just. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Now he wants to take them on. Keeping the ball well under some pressure. Room in which to attack. No cross, good block. Come on, come on. 
Maybe the cross. It's a shot. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Keeper controls it, never looked like bouncing off him. Yeah, it made it look easy, but his positioning did that for him. Referee's had a good look and decided time. what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. He's not going to get away with this, surely. That will be a booking. Oh, decisive from the referee, no doubt in his mind. Uh, that was a yellow card. I don't know, you know, Martin, I, I know another referee might not book him for that offence. Important touch from the defender there. Attacking now. Corner coming up. In goes the corner. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. That is the final whistle. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Taking home the match ball and thoroughly deserved. Pleasure to be here to see him grab that hat-trick. In... Really in the clear now, in on goal. It's a goal which really defines the way this team is playing. Well, look at them there. They're absolutely delighted. It does take a lot of... Pass treaded through. Just got a couple of questions for you regarding the match. No further questions, thanks so much.
And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. It's Crew Alexandra, and they face Cambridge United. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Should be a good game, this one. I always wanted to start the game on the front foot, fast play, force the opposition to respond. Hopefully we get that from the start of this match. So the initial 11 for the home side. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back, Lee? Not at all under Bruce Rock. It's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. And introducing the visitors lineup today. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the match is underway. He's given it away. O'Neill. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Possessed. An abundance of space. And scope for the cross. He must finish. A brisk start and a quick goal. Well, the manager would have said, keep it tight at the back and see if we can nick an early goal. And we certainly have done. Well, here's the replay. Defenders don't like it when he goes to wide areas because they know what's going to happen. The ball's going to come into the box, and on that occasion, it comes in, and now they're picking it out the back of the net. goal of the game then room to manoeuvre on the wing well, let's see about the cross I don't think in the grand scheme of things he's going to be terribly proud of that headed attempt well heading practice in training next week that was pretty average to be fair Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a goal for the visitors. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. You can't help feeling when you look at the table that when you're playing dominant football such as they have been, that they're going to lap the field. Yeah, absolutely. They've been so professional in what they do on and off the pitch. They focus on each game. They can see the finishing line now. Not too long to go. Can't see anybody catching them. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Throw-ins given.
Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And there's the feed into the box. And you need your defender to take charge. That's a very impressive piece of defending. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Well, great read there to intercept. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Read it superbly to take back possession. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Cheltenham Town. 16 minutes played, 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. And the ball sailing over everyone in the centre. And a throw-in it's going to be. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. A glorious chance, and he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him, and he's having a field day. Well, here it is again, and what a team effort this is. Pass, pass, pass. We love to see goals like this. In the end, there's nothing the defence can do about it. Brilliant, wonderful goal. Well, a second goal for them here. A sloppy pass. Beautifully weighted ball. Chance to reduce the arrears. And oh, it's in! We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, it's the timing, Derek. The ball through, matched by the run, and it's a lovely finish. Fabulous goal. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, 2-1 it is here. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a goal for Southend United. 23 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Forrester. And a throw-in forthcoming. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. The delivery. Might be able to set up the chance. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Can he take the chance? Powerful enough but not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. Read it magnificently and intercepted.
not to be advised. And attempting the through ball. Just drifted into the illegal position. Offside, in the opinion of the officials. They've given it away. Well, they get themselves level here and touched onto the frame of the goal. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. There's definitely been a shift. Great opportunity. Well, there it is. Can you believe this? From two down, they now find themselves level. Well, here it is, a striker's bread and butter. Simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets him the goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, the manager must be delighted with his team after they showed that attitude to get back into this top stuff. Goals are plenty. 2-2. Two, two. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And following that tackle, he's got to go into the book. Yeah, he's missed time more than anything there. Just missed time his tackle. Now can they make something happen? Wonderful chance! And he knows he can do a lot better on the shooting front. Well, how many times has he had that chance in training and scored on that occasion all over the place? And threading it forward. Can he finish this? And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Top marks, finishing at his best. Lovely through ball as well. The timing was perfect. Excellent finish. Well, let's have another view of that goal. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant. But after that, it's been really disappointing. Players are looking at each other. You've got to take... Oh, that's an interesting pass. Must score! Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, the lead barely lasted a few minutes, and they're right back in it. Conceding a goal after you've just scored, almost criminal. A chance to revisit the goal. Once again, the sides are level. This is a kaleidoscope of shifting emotions. Now, let's see what they can do here. Well, far too much on that particular cross. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And quick thinking to react to the situation and concede the throw.
But I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games. Alan McAnally can finish in. It's the second goal for Southend United. 39 minutes played. 2-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And scope for the cross. Forrester. At times they make passing look easy. And offside it is. And space for the cross. And crossed in the direction of the back post. And fired against the crossbar. And this time, it's in. Well, they say there's no better time to score just before half-time. The team talk of both sides are going to be changing now. It's a good finish, Derek, and they deserve the lead. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. They've given it away. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Giving it a try. Simple catch, really. Given away. Couldn't keep it. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. the ball nicely looking for that final pass Really tense battle so far. And now the second half is underway. Straight down the throat of the opposition. It's got to be! And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick! Well, when he's in this sort of mood, he's absolutely unstoppable. What a performance! Well, Derek, he can relax now. He's got the hat-trick. Fully deserved. Well done indeed. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored.
Neither side shy about shooting in this match. An unforced error, you've got to say. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And cleared away. Options in the centre. They've regained possession. Fruitful looking attack. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Plymouth Argyle. 52 minutes played, 2-1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. And given away. Well, he took care of it defensively. He's found a pocket of space. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. And they deal with the threat this time. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And he's fired over the corner. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Lost it again. And space for the cross. That could well be his final warning. He's got to tread carefully from here on in. Well, he has, yeah, but it's quite easy for the referees to throw yellow cards around willy-nilly, but not on this occasion. And a throw-in forthcoming. Crossing possibilities. What can he do from here? Cutting the ball back. Poor pass under no real pressure. He continues his run. Must score! That is a moment he would dearly love to have back, if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? emerging of wasted possession giving the ball away and a throw in it's going to be throw ins given and slipped through beautifully not to be this time Forrester and well, they're moving the ball chance to make a game of it here it's a weighted pass and they've only gone and applied that finishing touch well the offside flag has been raised no goal well it was close but he just went a little bit too early A 
A sloppy pass. Space afforded him. And the cross is very much on. He's got to score! And that completes an impressive hat-trick. Well, keep counting. Three now. But at this rate, he's in for a hatful. Well, here's the replay. You have to say he's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match. It's a good finish and a richly deserved hat-trick. Neither side shy about shooting in this match. It should be. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Let's have a look at that again. The keeper thinks he's done enough, but he hasn't. It's just gone past him. He does get a touch on it, though. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a third goal for the visitors. 71 minutes played. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Well, we did have to cut off Alan McAnally for understandable reasons. To confirm for you, the visitors did score in that match. And they are running away with it, seemingly. 3-0 in front. By no means on his own here. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Well, the attack promising as it was, scuppered there. No let up in the pressing department. Stopped them in their tracks. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. I must say, no shortage of space. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Now he must favour the cross. On and on he goes. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Walsall. It's there for him. And what a magical save it was. They've decided to take the corner short. Just a bit too high with that attempt. Lecco. Possession changes hands. The interception there. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. He's got to score! Well kept out. A concession of a corner here. Played into the centre of the box. And clears his lines. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Only ten minutes remaining here. I'm hearing that there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Who is it for, Alan McAnally? It's a goal for Stevenage. 
eight minutes remain. 3 1. Cheers again, Alan. Theme emerging of wasted possession. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Will it be? The goals keep going in for them. I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. Well, we could take another look at this. There's nothing much the keeper can do. Close range finish, really good play, and he doesn't miss from there. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. O'Neill, McIntyre. O'Neill. Looks promising this. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Henderson could be a chance to break here. Now well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Forrester. Strength and control, a big part of his game. O'Neill. It might be on for them. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Nothing wrong with that idea. It might be. Well, it's goal after goal after goal. Just no end to this. A brilliant display. Well, the pass makes the goal, Derek. Good finish, yes, but the ball through was brilliant. Slide rule pass. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. The electronic board has been held in the air, and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Henderson. Well, they have it again. Counter attacking, very much an option. Forrester. And they do like to press whenever they can. And now it is truly final. The match is over. Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. No words, Derek. No words. OK, then, just one. Superb.